Today we are doing tiered trays for fall. Specifically, we're doing four tiered trays, and I'm starting with this black tray that I purchased off of Amazon. It's new to me. Today I'll be using some pieces from Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree, some boutique pieces, and also some pieces from Etsy and a couple other stores. I'm really happy to have gotten these from Hobby Lobby. I got them at for 66% off for $10. And I also am loving this boutique little candle that I purchased. It is battery operated and it has a timer. So one of the things that I got at Hobby Lobby, if you saw my shopping video a couple weeks back, was this braided pumpkin. Now I have been eyeing this for a long time and after I purchased this tray, I really thought that this pumpkin would look nice on it, along with this smaller one that I also got at Hobby Lobby. Now these are my anchor pieces. So these two pieces are anchoring my tray and I'm going to be adding to it and layering the other pieces around these. So I'm adding in some different styles, some different colors, and I'm also adding in some different heights too. So these wood slices, you can get these at Hobby Lobby. They come in um, like a little bag and they come in various sizes. They're great for trays. They're great for elevating pieces like this book stack. Now this book stack, I purchased this off of Etsy. I have a few things on this tray I purchased off of Etsy and I'm going to try to link everything below for you. I'm not sure if I can link everything and I'm not sure if the people who have these shops still have all of these pieces. They might have something similar though. So even though the other two pieces are my anchor pieces, this little pillow is the star of the show and I have used this before. I've had it a couple years, also purchased off of Etsy, but I thought it would look nice on this black tray. You can always find pieces at Dollar Tree, especially pumpkins, and that's where that little wood one came from. Now here are my measuring cups that I just got. $10, 66% off clearance at Hobby Lobby. I was so happy to see they still had these. They actually still had quite a bit of spring clearance. Now I'm trying this little sign. I think I got this at an art fair one year. And I really like it. I think it will lend itself well, maybe to Halloween, but I'm looking at it here and I don't really like it with everything else. So I think I'm gonna switch it out and I'm gonna just use it for a riser. But I already have it on the tray and I do plan to use this tray at Halloween time. I plan to tweak it just a little bit. And so I will keep that sign on there. Now this sign also is a Hobby Lobby sign that I put my own decal on the back of it with a, my Cricut machine. So when it comes to Halloween, I'll just turn that around too. This tray is one that I want to show on all sides. So like I could put this on my kitchen table and then from every side it will look decorated. And that's what I'm aiming for today with this tray. Now let's talk about these wheat pieces. I was complaining about these a little bit in my shopping and haul video because I thought they were expensive. I was able to take them apart and make three pieces out of each of them. So that made it a little bit better. Adding in some corn stalks here. That's an inexpensive touch. They have lots of little inexpensive pieces at Hobby Lobby for tiered trays. It is a wonderful place to go if you have one near you if you're looking to decorate your trays. And then I'm just adding in those little pumpkins there. And the last touch is just a little pine cone. A little adjustment. I am loving that little candle there on the left. <laughs>
Altair tray number two, I'm going to use my Hobby Lobby tray. Now this tray, a couple things about it. Number one, we're not gonna be decorating the back this time because this one will be facing a wall, for sure, I know. And then the second thing is that this tray can be a little bit tricky because the top is kind of small. So we're starting with our two anchor pieces here. I'm using this vase from Michaels and this copper colored pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is such a great place to get all of your tear tray items. Now the top part is tricky. You really have to use a lot of littles up here. You think that things are going to fit and then you find out they don't. Hobby Lobby, again, great place for littles and that's where I have a lot of my small pieces from that fit well on this tray. This little picture, I don't remember where I got that. But I do know that these are from Hearth and Hand and they are napkin rings. And napkin rings work really well on tear trays. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure I have used these napkin rings actually as napkin rings. <laughs> to that, I'm going to add this little ceramic dish. This little ceramic dish is from the Spring Shop. At Hobby Lobby. I think I got that half off when it was half off. I'm adding just in a little faux apple. The golden apples are a nice kind of fall touch. Again more layering with risers and then this little house and I'm adding in a little gourd and I'm adding in a little watering can to this. So I'm going to take this can and then I have these flowers and I'm literally rolling the stem up because I don't really like to cut my flowers unless I have to. I'd rather just work with them and roll things up and bend them so that I can use them for a variety of different things. And then they go a long way that way. Adding in my little gourd. And then to that, we're gonna put another riser, another one of those little napkin rings. I don't think I've used these napkin rings for napkins. I usually use them on my tray. Napkin rings work really well on tiered trays. All right, we're going back to the bottom here. And then I'm just going to add in some corn stalks here to kind of add in a little filler. And then I've got these little uh, birch pieces too. And voila! All right, tier tray number three is my white tier tray, and I think it'll work nicely for fall with all of my DIYs that I did in July. Now, this tray is also from Amazon, and I can link it below along with the black one. And I'm going to be anchoring it here with this DIY that I did. I'm gonna call this my DIY tray, honestly, because a lot of the things on here are the DIYs and also this little rosette pumpkin I made. If you didn't see that video that I made in July, I will link it for you below if, in case you're interested in watching it when you're done watching this video. So those are my two anchor pieces. So, and then also I'm going to add this napkin in and just give it like a little extra layer there at the bottom. Are you noticing a pattern with the anchored pieces? You always start with those and build around them with layers and with height. So that scoop, I think I got that at a little uh, local vintage and DIY shop. I'm calling it a DIY shop, craft shop. Both of those pieces, all three of those pieces on the left there are pieces I have DIY'd. The sign, the little bow sign there in the front. The little blue pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby. Let me know what you think when you're when you're done watching this, if you like the blue and the orange and the brown and the white together, I think it's a nice combination, but 
I don't know, that's just my opinion. So you can let me know what you think below in the comments. Another DIY piece I did, I did, I can't remember how many DIYs I did, I did several of them. And they all go together. And they all go nicely on this tray. Once again, we're adding height with our little risers to give our pumpkins various heights. And then this here is my little scoop that I also made DIYing. That little uh, pumpkin pie I purchased off of Etsy and I can link that shop for you if you're interested. And we're adding in a couple more of these little pumpkins. I think those are Dollar Tree pumpkins. And then I also think this is Dollar Tree um, picks here too. A couple more to balance out the front here. These ones are those clips and you wanna look for those at Dollar Tree too as it gets into the fall season because those are pretty popular. We're just gonna add in a few more berry pieces here to round out this tray. And we're just going to add in one here. We're going to add in one to the back. And then this tray is going to be done. Tray number four, very simple $5 Target tier tray. This is my favorite Target tier tray that I have. I have a couple, but I like this one the best. Really simple. You don't want to over decorate these small ones. This is the five minute tray. Take some Dollar Tree pumpkins, just add them together there in varying heights and colors. And then I have this sign at the top here that I'm gonna add in after I put a backing there to hold it up. Now I like it with the pumpkin side. I do have another side to it. This is also one of my DIYs. It's a little sign being thankful for family, which of course I am, but I do think it looks a little bit better on the pumpkin side. So I'm opting to use that one today. And then I'm just adding a couple little, little pumpkin, little pine cone, and voila, you're done. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to think about sharing it with someone who you think might like it. You can like this video if you enjoyed it. Here is another video for you. If you like this one, you might like this one also. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week.